Hello guys, what's up? This is your Arun Goel and today we'll be discussing problem number 793 of lead code. So for all those who have not read the question, uh, just pause the video here and please read the question. Okay, I hope you must have read the question and question is not at all difficult in understanding. So we'll straight away move to the solution. How will we approach the question? Okay, so as you all know that you know, zero factorial is one having no zeros at the end. Similarly, one factorial, two factorial, three factorial, and four factorial. Why? Because they are having no five in it. The number of zeros in any factorial is, you know, defined by how, how number, uh, how many fives are there, right? So basically, from zero factorial to four factorial, we have zero number of zeros. From five factorial. To 9 factorial, we have 1 0 at the end. From 10 factorial to 15 factorial, 14 sorry. Same. Similarly, from 15 to 19, we have 3 zeros. From 20 to 24 factorial, we have 4 zeros. Now, the main part from 25 factorial to 30 factorial. We have six zeros at the end. I hope you know the reason that 25 is five into five, right? So, so basically we have, we have only two possibilities for the answer. Either our answer would be zero. Suppose I ask you for K equal to zero. What will be your answer? It will be five because five numbers are having zero zeros at the end. For K equal to zero answer is five. For K equal to one, we again have 5. For k equal to 2, we again have 5. For k equal to 3, again 5, 4, 5. For k equal to 5, we do not have any number whose factorial have 5 zeros at the end. So what do we need to do? In this question, we have to check whether the number, whether there is any number who contains a k number of zeros at the end or not. If there is no such number, then the answer is 0. If there is any such number, then the answer is five obvious now so we can basically apply binary search on this um, okay so this is a basic function which calculate the number of zeros in any factorial i hope you know this how we calculate the number of zeros if not i'll i have mentioned a link in the description please go and watch that video it is a very small video now the main function so um, what do we do in a binary search? We take a start. So start is zero. We take an end. You can take any end, but here we have given, we are given that there can be, K can be in the range of zero to 10 to the power of nine, right? It means there could be 10 to the power of nine zeros at the end, which means there are 10 to the power of nine fives in any, in any number, right? into the power of nine fives, which means there has to be, um, if we do not know how many, suppose in the worst case, each at every five, we encounter one five, right? When we have five, we have one five at 10, we have two fives at 15, we have three fives. So in the worst case, 10 to the power of nine, this can contain, this number can contain, uh, 10 to the power of 9 fives in the worst case, right? But as we know, 25 contains 2 fives, 50 contains 2 fives, 75 contains 2 fives, 125 contains 3 fives, right? So I've taken the maximum, I've taken the long max, okay? So simply how we approach in a binary search, we find the mid by start plus end by 2. Uh, we check how many zeros are there in this factorial, in mid factorial. If X is equal to equal to K, which means a number is found, we simply return answer five. Suppose that here, this, the number of zeros are more than K, which means, so, which means basically that the number, the current factorial, which we are calculating is much bigger, is containing more number of fives. So simply we, what we do is end equal to mid minus one. And if it is having lesser number of zeros than K, we, we have to increase the number. We have to increase the factorial. So start is equal to mid plus one. This is how we do it. 
and if there is no number if there is no suppose for 5 there is no such number then we have the answer right we return zero let's do a dry run for this let's do a dry run suppose my start is zero and i'm not taking a very big number uh, let's say end is 100 okay and i am calculating for k equal to 2 k equal to 2 okay so initially mid is equal to 50 mid is equal to 50 the number of zeros in 50 factorial are definitely more than 2 so start is very very uh, oh sorry the number of zeros are very very greater very very much greater than 2 so end is equal to mid minus 1 so what will be our end it will be 49 now again mid equal to uh, 24 24 factorial again contains more zeros so end is equal to 23 now 23 by 2 0 plus 23 by 2 mid equal to 11 again now the main part 11 factorial contains two zeros right so this means the answer is 5 now let's suppose the same case but with k equal to 5 we we know that k equal to 5 the answer should be zero so let's dry run for this again uh, 0 comma 100 our mid would be 50 the number of zeros are definitely more than 5 right so our new range is 0 to 49 the mid is 24 okay number of zeros in 24 factorial is 4 so start is uh, we have for k is definitely 5 which is greater than x which is greater than the number of zeros so we'll increase start start would be now 25 and my mid oh, my end would remain the same 49 in this case mid would be start plus end by 2 which is which is which is uh, 49 right again 37 factorial uh, zeros are much greater than 5 so end would be 36 now from 25 to 36 25 plus 36 by 2 so this way it will be my end will be lesser than start this will go on my end will come less than start so this loop will get over and it will return answer as zero i hope you have got this question um if you like the video please like hit the like button and do subscribe my channel thank you